And uh, yeah, guys, uh, just give me guys an update. Uh, so yeah, remember with this guy right here, I told you that he was having a, um, you guys see my videos uh, previously, like a couple of weeks ago, he was having eye problems, correct? So um, you guys can see, hey, fun boy, buddy, buddy boy, you sleepy? <laughs> so you guys wanna look at his eye. He, it's gotten his color back. It has actually gotten his color back. And uh, you guys see the extra on his on his bottom eyelid, the extra tissue right there. I think that was maybe the possible cause of why it was actually like pressing onto his eye, his eyeball, uh, therefore causing him to tear up and uh, having irritations with his eye. But then, you know, everybody else has seemed fine, you know. Uh, he seems good, she seems good, but then him, you know, with just that eye problem. You know, that's why I actually called him Cyclops, but I don't think... Uh, he might not need surgery anymore. Probably only surgery on the on that on that extra tissue right there. But then that's that's pretty much it. You know, if if he actually really even needs it at all. But you know, obviously when you do when you do surgery, there's always a risk of anything. There's always a risk of if you, like anything under anesthesia. There's always a risk of having the puppy or any type of dog at any age that can go through. Um, cardiac the rest so it's a really slim chance but i don't know it's it's either it can just happen or it just don't so you know he's still really young these guys these guys are only six weeks and they're getting the fresh shots so he seems still kind of too young to even do the surgery you know what i mean so maybe when he gets older and it's not bothering his eye at all so i don't think he needs it so i don't know we'll talk to my vet about it so we'll talk to the the vet about it and see you know what's what's up with that and uh possibly what should we do you know because um I don't want to sell them yet just because of the eye problems. So everybody else who's deserved, but just the eye problem. I mean, I'm not really sure. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, that's just part of me being a responsible breeder. Hopefully, I, I just want to uh, show you guys that I, I want to be a responsible breeder as, you know, all the time, you know, and just to be a good role model for you guys, for, you know, for you upcoming breeders and make sure you do your shots, make sure you get the records because getting like doing your own shots it's never as good because you you won't get the records you know because when you do your own shots you don't get your records and uh but we do with the vet you get a certified records of uh, you know when they got the shots and it lets the upcoming vets that they are going to with their new homes uh what the way they actually have so they don't you know over vaccinate them so that's pretty much it you guys uh yeah so i'll let you guys uh update with that and yeah let's just let's see when they come back out all right i'm sleeping yeah hey guys so yeah they just uh pretty much got back and yeah uh fun boy or cyclops he is going to actually really do need surgery but um uh, not gonna do it anytime soon i'm gonna wait till it gets a little bit older until i sell him so and uh yeah if you guys remember that thing that was on top of his cornea or his eyeball uh, that was actually an ulcer so i figured so he is not blind you know obviously because the color came back and i was afraid that he was going to be blind so yes after surgery his price will still be high so yeah thank god but um you know I, I don't care about the money i just i just care that he's happy and you know healthy in his condition you know he just lives a normal life pretty much and and i just want him to go to a good home and all healthy and everything so you guys thank you guys so much for uh, watching my video and uh, hopefully you guys learned something and uh, you know my journey with my puppies and yeah uh, pretty much sooner or later they will be probably sent to Cali so uh, I'll let you guys updated with that and then uh, the next shots is probably when I'm gonna get my certificates uh, depending on not international or not it could be 30 days or if you know if it's over states uh, it's probably gonna be 10 days uh, that I have a limited time to uh, before I can send them off so yeah just for the certificates because certificates do not last uh they don't last long so you know once you get it you got to send them over so i guess thank you guys so much for watching my video and yeah peace out y'all love y'all peace good night my children good night <laughs> go to sleep boys all right guys <laughs> peace